Dairy Calf 6400, otherwise known as Bunny, because as you can see, thanks to an issue with her back legs, she doesn't walk, she hops. And as she gets bigger, this is going to become a real problem for her. For her as an individual, it really put her ability to survive within the system in jeopardy. Um, an animal that um, gets as large as a cow that can't weight bear on all four limbs and move around normally um, isn't going to make it into the herd eventually. But these days, Bunny is walking a lot better, and that's because she's a very lucky calf. She's the first cow to ever be given hydrotherapy to help improve her walk, and it is working. OK, so the tank that we've got is usually used for dogs, and it's used for canine hydrotherapy. And what we're trying to achieve with Bunny is pretty much the same as we would do with them. So we're looking to improve her balance and also strengthen her legs, but also get her taking individual steps with her hind legs so that she was walking properly and walking normally. Two, one. Once the tank is filled, the treadmill is turned on and the water slows Bunny's movement down. So she can't hop. Instead, she has to start walking. And over time, this treatment has improved her movement and her strength. Now, Bunny is a really lucky calf because she was born on the Harper Adams dairy unit and this is also a Harper Adams facility. But the question is, is there a role for this kind of therapy in day-to-day -day farming? Bunny is kind of a pioneering case, um, so the students have done a great job in sort of trialling it with her and I hope that seeing the success of this we might be able to say to the wider community, yeah, there is some applications in using physiotherapy in farm animals. A shower after treatment and then it's back to the farm. Bunny will soon be too big for this equipment, so her recovery will have to continue on dry land. But by the spring, this might be one pioneering bunny who successfully lost her hop. Debbie Gregory Kumar, BBC Middens Today, Harper Adams University.